Good morning everyone, welcome to this new video on my channel. My name is Nosli and today I'm going to show you what I eat in a day, not in the Netherlands this time, but in Japan. Let's go! Now these are the ones I always take in the morning right away when I wake up, um, whenever I travel. This one is probiotics and this one is just very good with vitamin C in it and spirulina. So this is always handy when traveling. First up, Family Mart. This one is actually directly under our hotel, so it's very handy because here is where we're gonna get breakfast. Now, this is one that we drink a lot on our stay here in Japan. This is called milk protein, and it actually tastes like what does it taste like? Flavored milk. Flavored milk? I don't know, but it's really nice. So, this is what we're going to take for protein intake. You want one too? Let's get two. And the cool thing about Japan is that in almost every the tiny supermarkets they have like takeaway meals and as you can see right here you can just heat them up in a microwave and they do that for you right here in the store so Jeremy and I discovered one thing that we really really like and it's actually pretty fresh so I hope I can find that one this is the meal that I meant it's with chicken and pasta you will see it in a moment and for drink, what they have in Japan is that they have this thing standing right here with all kinds of flavored teas in it and it's warm right here. So I'm going to get one of those too. Now a few of the supermarkets even have like a little um, cafe kind of thing without the cafe part. But you have the chairs right here where you can just eat your food. Um, while you just bought it in the store. So everything is so convenient and so handy. I literally wish they had this in Europe though. With every meal you always get these sticks with it, obviously. Um, I got a banana. Um, it's really strange that they pack it in plastic here, but okay, so I'm taking this on the road. Then I have the milk protein for protein intake and this has, how much? 15 grams of protein in it. Then we have the warm jasmine tea because as you can hear I'm having a little bit of a cold so that's good and of course then we have the chicken and I'm going to show you what's underneath it as you can see there's pasta underneath it so it's just pasta and chicken and this is gonna be my breakfast So I took a little break with Jeremy and right now we're enjoying some matcha lattes. I have a warm one, he had a cold one <laughs> and one of the specialties of Japan is matcha. For the ones who don't know what matcha is, it's basically a green tea leaves that are crushed and it has like a, I don't know, like a little bit of a bitter taste but it's really nice with a sweetener through it. So that's why I always take the matcha latte and um, yeah, like I said, this is the warm one because it's really, really cold at this moment in Japan. and. By the way, if you're wondering throughout this video, um, hey you know, so why don't you track your calories? Well, first of all, I think because it's almost impossible to do in another country, especially like Japan, because you cannot read most of the things and I just want to enjoy as much as possible here. So I'm really flexible in what I eat. The only thing that I do take care of is that I eat enough protein so I know that my muscles have enough to feed themselves. Um, but besides that, I eat almost everything that I really like, of course, um, you know, it's still vacation, so you just have to enjoy that. <laughs> so the next thing we're trying, we're not really trying though, but 
We take this in the Netherlands a lot. It's called bubble tea. It's originally from Taiwan, but they sell it here in Japan almost everywhere. Now, this is a very special one. I've never tasted it. It is bubble tea with herbal milk and some kind of jelly in it. Um, I have no idea what kind of flavor that is, but it's black, so. Mm. Oh. And there's brown sugar in it. Which one do you have? Matcha, of course. I don't test. <laughs> Once I like it, I, I'll stick to it. Can you show it to me? Mm. The thing with this one, they don't put a lot of sugar in it. Usually it's like this sweet balm of sugar. This one is though. Super sweet. Mm. Oh. Mm. That one's good though. Mm. <laughs> oh man. I just got back in the hotel together with Jeremy and I am so full from the last meal we ate. It was really, really good. I have to say that it was actually the best meal I had so far in Japan. Um, I'll be honest, like watching your food in Japan is really, really, really tough um, because most of the food in Japan contains carbs and fat and like the tiniest amount of protein. <laughs> So actually getting and um, reaching my protein goal for the day is just almost impossible. I try to though. So sometimes uh, I just take my own protein bars with me or sometimes I always do that. So I know that I at least get 20 grams of protein in. Um, and just like this morning, of course, I had the chicken. Then uh, during the day, we basically only ate sugar and carbs <laughs> but uh yeah i think i've had enough calories for today for sure even though i didn't eat that much so um like my pre bedtime snack kind of thing will be my jasmine tea again the warm one i absolutely love it and it's really good for my throat so that is what i'm going to sip we're actually going to watch netflix in a bit then um this is something that is zero calorie <laughs> and you can find this at almost any family mart or I think 7-Eleven and I cannot read what it is but it's basically melon jelly and it has zero calories in it so that's really good and it is so good because at the bottom I hope you guys can see it you have these blocks or cubes of I think they're like aloe vera mm jelly kind of thing i don't know it's really delicious so i'm going to eat that i also have one for jer and the protein bar and then i think like i said i have more than enough calories for the whole day so yeah we are here for one week and for now that's more than enough after that we're going to thailand anyways i just wanted to show you what i eat in a day uh, in japan even though that this is not a standard day um, every time we go to a different part of the city uh, and we travel a lot with the train so basically we have a lot of options to choose from every time the only thing that is like becoming a standard is the bubble tea because I am totally addicted to that and one of those drinks contains at least 700 calories or something so I'll be honest, I will be happy when we go to Thailand because you have a lot of fresh food and a lot of protein in the form of fish, uh, maybe some egg or um, whatever. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. I thought that this was really fun to do. I hope you enjoyed it too. Do a little thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys and girls in maybe the next country. <laughs> Bye. I was about to go to bed and then I forgot one more thing that I do before I go to bed and that is that I take a protein shake and we just take one shaker with us every trip. So let me see this. What we have here is just a simple plain bucket with I think protein for 
two weeks or something. I already took like a lot of it, but this is what we always take and it makes our protein intake very easy. So we take one shake a day. <laughs> 